Hi, this is Tom of the University of Iowa. Let me show you a great way to simulate stop and chop using these PS12 eyes from Craig Phillips uh, out of the UK. You can see they make a decent simulation of the incision. We're placing some viscoelastic uh, in the anterior chamber. A very nice simulation of that. We can make a paracentesis uh, as usual. One of the great things about these simulated eyes is that they're the same size as real human eyes. And so you don't need extra large instruments like you do uh, when you're using uh, pig eyes. The Rexus simulation is pretty good. Initially with uh, a um, cystotome and now with um, capsular Rexus forceps. And in this case, Austin Fox, who was one of our chief residents at the time, was able to do a nice uh, re continuous Rexus under the tutelage of Tim Johnson, who's our chief of cataract surgery at the University of Iowa. We got these eyes during COVID uh, with uh, the leadership of Jackie Hogsdale, who uh, is um, our chief of simulation here at the University of Iowa. She's a wonderful physician um, and a leader in the area of simulation. You can see how uh, these um, PS12 eyes are a pretty good simulation uh, uh, for this groove here. We'll be able to talk a lot about the techniques of the groove and we can discuss the the, uh, the settings for the machine, it just really allows a nice simulation uh, of the groove. One of the great things is that we can use two hands here, and so we can practice the tricky part, which is using both hands, getting the nucleus to divide into two pieces. Here you can see um, our residents done a nice job dividing the nucleus into two pieces. Spinning the lens can easily be done with these eyes. And again, the sizing is right so that we don't have awkward issues like you do uh, with uh, eyes um, such as porcine eyes were, which are too big. So now we've got this um, lens into two pieces, so we're going to stop doing uh, the divide and conquer, and we're going to start doing the chop, and so that's why it's called stop and chop. And here we're going to embed into the half, and we're using higher vacuum settings now, and we're going to embed into the half, we're going to reach around, and we're going to do a very horizontal um, chop here for uh, the stop and chop. You can see that one of the disadvantages of, of this material uh, that simulates the nucleus here is it begins to dissolve with time and so you have to kind of work quickly otherwise this material dissolves on its own. But these uh, PS12 eyes from Philips are just great uh, for uh, simulating nuclear practice. You can do this in your operating room with your microscope and your instruments. Uh, th there's no um, animal products or cadaver products. So you don't have to worry uh, about using these in a real OR. And, um, and so the, the fluidics is also a, a great um, thing to talk about when you're doing this teaching. Here's a, a, a web shot from the Phillips uh, Studio website. This is Tom Mudd, University of Iowa. Thank you very much.